You know, I love the good old days, but there's gotta be a better way to cutting wood than just using a handsaw. I'm here at the Bergen County Technical High School in Paramus, New Jersey, where we're gonna give you a primer on some of the different power saws that are out there and how to use them safely. This is the saw that built America, the worm drive. And this is the tool that's out on the job site. Right. All the carpenters with the big forearms and the, <laughs> and the giant paws, they're out there cutting wood like crazy. It's great for uh, demolition, it's great for cutting, but it weighs a ton. These sidewinders are really kind of the bread and butter of the industry, and these come in a lot of different sizes. Uh, this is a corded unit. There's cordless uh, as well. And, and then this one here is the track saw. And how do you want to cut that plywood? The track. They come in different lengths, the tracks, and you got your perfect straight line. Clamp Already it down, you up. put it over the piece of material, and you go. Done. Now, with any of these saws, in particular circular saws, the type of blade is important. Correct. All the different blades have different teeth, and those different teeth do different jobs. Right. The thing to remember is the more teeth, the finer the cut. These are standard blades here. These are carbide tip, which will help you with uh, stiffer material. You got to keep a good collection of those, and you got to make sure they're sharp, and you got to make sure you're using the right blade for the right job. Correct. You got it. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you very much. Hey, I got one more tip for you. I got a clamped a board right here. You never want to support the work here that you're going to cut off because when you take that saw to cut across here, if you do so, it will bind and that saw can kick back. Let the saw do the work and life's going to be a heck of a lot easier. This is a chop saw and it is a type of saw that you can use to cut miters. Uh, this particular one slides, and it also has a feature called a compound miter. So you can turn it and angle it to make uh, different cuts. Like, for instance, if you see crown molding in a home up at the ceiling where it meets the wall and you see those outside and inside cuts, in the old days we used to use a coping saw to cut that all out and make it fit nicely, but this saw makes very quick work of it. Now, I've got Mark here who's holding in his hand a reciprocating saw. Tell me what this saw primarily does. It's primarily a demolition tool. It's designed to take things out, cut things out of your way. The blade goes back and forth. That's why it's called a reciprocating saw, and it cuts through a lot of different things. And that saw, it'll send you for a ride if you're not careful when you're using it. it. It'll do that. The blade can't be really protected as it is in the chop saw. There's no guard because it has to be exposed to do its work. All right, give us a little demo of what it can do. stud is now removed. Look at that. I go about my yeah. remodeling. Now this category of saw is an impressive one. It's called a table saw. If you're going to build any furniture, if you want to rip spindles for a handrail, or you want to do some real intricate work, you're going to need a table saw. Joining me is Ted, who's one of the administrators here at the school with a, a piece of plywood and a hot dog, which we will explain in a bit. Now, you're not a saw expert, but you're charged with making sure that everybody is safe, along with the training that they get. Uh, talk a little bit about why you guys purchased this particular piece of equipment. Well, safety is paramount when we teach students, Lou, so that's key. SawStop's designed a tool that actually conducts an electric signal through the blade. Uh, the blade is able to sense if a body part, and in this case, we're gonna use the hot dog as a simulation of a finger, um, can, can tell when it's conducting electricity through it as a body part, and what it'll do is it'll take the blade, stop its rotation immediately within five milliseconds. Amazing. Drop the blade down into the actual device bed and stop it into an aluminum block so it prevents it from shattering or moving outside the saw. So it's a completely safe operation. All right, we're gonna show you exactly how this works. Now that little nick is gonna hurt, but you're gonna have all your fingers. This is impressive. But no matter what kind of saw you're using, you need to have a healthy respect when you're using any type of power tool. Always follow the manufacturer's recommended ways of using that tool. And remember, safety never takes a vacation.